Hi everyone, my name is Vidhi and today I'll be sharing with you guys my Amazon interview experience. So I got my offer from Amazon on 9th of July and it is an unreal moment for me. So yeah, I thought I could help you guys with the experience so that you may know what were the question asked, what were the sections and what are things needed to prepare for it. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So coming to how I actually got the interview, so there was an opening on the Amazon Jobs portal which I went and applied. I was, I found that through the LinkedIn and once I had applied, within three days I received an online assessment link on my email and I had to complete that within the given amount of time. So that is what was the first step. Post that, I also had three interview rounds and all four of this including online assessment were eliminatory rounds so coming to the online assessment so it was divided into different rounds number one was the coding assessment round where i had coding questions i needed to solve within 60 to 90 minutes i'm not sure so i had three questions two were of medium level and the last one was of hard level the two medium questions one was of dp and second one was of string and the third question was based on graph luckily I was able to solve all the three questions within the given amount of time and I moved on to the second section which was the work style uh, question so usually you have to um, you have to be in a place of an Amazon employee and there are situations wherein you need to use uh, you know logic and data interpretation and then provide a uh, or select a correct answer so it was not that difficult you need, just needed basic aptitude and data reasoning um, knowledge post that we also had a debugging question wherein we were provided a few set of logs and there was question and you needed to provide the reason for the error it was also i won't say it was that difficult you just needed a good observation power and good analyzing skills to actually find out the correct answer Post that we also had a psychometric kind of behavioral uh, questions. So therein you had set of questions like uh, I tend to be motivated all the time or I tend to be pessimistic such questions and you had to um, give an answer. So there was a slider bar and you had to slide that. So slightly agree, agree, disagree, neutral. So these were the parameters and you just have to give an opinion about that statement that do you agree, strongly agree or are you neutral about that statement. So this was the behavioral style questions. I think this was all uh, about the online assessment. Post that after two days, I received a link for the next rounds, uh, message uh, mail for the next rounds that I cleared the online assessment and I'll be moving to the interviews. So Amazon call it a loop interviews and usually has three to four rounds. So coming to the interview round, so as I said, I had three interview rounds. The first one was uh, relatively easier than the second one. The first one, I got two DSA questions and uh, the first question was based on LRU cache. It is also a lead code medium problem and I also uh, attach the link in the description so you can check that out. And the second question was based on binary search. So it was kind of a uh, type of the aggressive cow uh, question, but you could not tell it um, just by looking at the question you need to think about a bit and then you'll be able to find a range wherein you can apply the binary search and find the solution so this was about the first round of the interview after uh, three or four days I received the call for the second interview and it was scheduled within three or four days again and for the second round of interview it was a bit difficult than the first one so i got a lead code hard question on a tree binary tree and i got another question which was based on graph um, bfs so these were two questions and i had to do it all within 45 to 60 minutes and also do a dry run till the time complexity and space complexity as well after it was done, uh, the interview also asked me a leadership principle question and then the interview was completed. So this was about the second interview. Although I did uh, provide the working solution, I just wasn't sure and I wasn't confident 100% that I would be getting the second round. But successfully, uh, fortunately, after a few days, I'll say a week or so, I got a call that I cleared the second round and I'm moving to the next and final round, which is the leader principle round. And that round took a quite while to get scheduled because it got rescheduled two times because of 
the unavailability of the panelist members uh, so i think it was around four weeks after that i got the third round of interview schedule and it was completely behavior round so I just had leadership principal question and there was a hiring manager he was an SDM and he just asked me questions like um, tell me a time when you uh, faced difficulty or when you received a critical feedback tell me a time when you took responsibility out of your designated role and questions like that you can find those questions on um, many articles and websites so these are standard questions lp questions that amazon asks so i had prepared stories and i had around seven to eight stories prepared for this round and so this round went smoothly i think it lasted around for 40 to 42 minutes and uh, yeah i think i was able to do a good uh, work on this and the interview was also very happy with my answer so this round after this round i was a bit uh, happy and would come that uh, you know maybe i did uh, better and maybe we have something out of this and uh, i received my final offer after this round uh, within five to six days i got a straight away mail that i've cleared the round and these are the details and these are the locations and yeah that was uh, all about the rounds and the whole interview procedure i'm currently going through the onboarding process and i'll be starting my job from the first september so yeah that's all about it i hope you got some uh, informative content from this one and uh, if you have any questions do put that in the comment section and i'll maybe come up with another video if there are any suggestions from you guys and yeah that's it and i'll see you in the next video bye bye